Greetings friends, my name is John Gabriel and this is a new calculus channel. So today I want to continue uh, where I left off um, the previous video <clears throat> talking about the uh, malformed complex number theory and uh, how it came to be and basically what a, a load of nonsense that complex number theory is. So let's begin. Now, the most laughable equation in all of mathematics is this equation here, which says e to the i pi is equal to minus 1, <clears throat> uh, which basically says that the logarithm, the logarithm of negative 1 to the base e is equal to i pi. So you've got, a, uh, except for minus 1 in that equation, every other value or imaginary value is nonsense. Okay, it's not even a number. E is not a number, pi is not a number, and i is not even mathematics. But in any case, let's look at a discussion to see how these things are justified by the baboons in mainstream academia. So, again, Zelos Malum <clears throat> uh, is a typical crank on a news group called Psy.Math, and uh, he is the one normally responding. So let's <clears throat> let's look at his responses. So he says um, in mathematics, no, he says uh, that uh, the square root remains distributive over multiplication when it is extended. Oh my dear! So this means now that uh, the square root uh, of any two numbers. It, doesn't really mean what it was intended to mean, but can be extended to include non-numbers, such as imaginary numbers, minus 1, minus 9, etc. So he says it means you assume that it can be extended. Well, in mathematics, we never assume anything. So I told, uh, I wrote that it's a fact that the square root of a times b is equal to the square root of a times the square root of b. And he says it's valid, and it is only true for non-negative a and b, which is correct, and I respond with correct. But he says for non-negative a and b, it is not distributive. In other words, we instantly have a contradiction. Can you believe how stupid somebody in mainstream academia can be? This guy purportedly has a master's from Uppsala, or however you pronounce it, university in Sweden. <laughs> okay. And then he says, um, well, I respond, well, in my first comment, I said, he stated formally in mathematics, there are no tricks, only in magic, and nothing happens by accident. So he says it isn't formally so, uh, and it's a mental thing to ease use. It's a mental thing to ease use, whatever that means. So from one who constantly goes on about formal systems, suddenly formality is not so important. And uh, the most laughable part, I said, is this. If you don't accept that this is true for, non, for negative numbers, for negative numbers, then you can't have 3i. You get it? In other words, there's no such thing as 3i. Uh, and then, of course, he, dec he says, which is invalid because you assume it is distributive. So, I mean, he doesn't even really know what he's saying because one, at one time he says it can be extended, and then at another time, it says, uh, uh, you, can't, you can't assume it because it is distributive. But that's what you're doing in, in this, uh, in this uh, example here. It, you're, distri you're distributing it. So you can't get 3i without doing it. So it says, it does, however, result in correct. Mm. So it's invalid, but correct. Probably much like mainstream formal systems. Now... Uh, you can make up your own mind about that, but it doesn't take a genius to realize that complex number theory is a bunch of bullshit, always has been, and always will be, and eventually it collapses under its own weight as a worthless old relic. Okay, you cannot have ill-formed Ill -form concepts in mathematics. Mathematics is a science, it's not a religion. Now, he says, um, 
square root of minus 9, what complex number fits that? 3i. Mm, but how do you get 3i from minus 9? You have to do the distribution <laughs> that I showed you earlier here. Okay, there's no other way to do it. But he says you don't need to distribute, only remember that 3, oh, you only need to remember, you only need to memorize that 3i times 3i is equal to minus 9. Why? Because there's a decree by the high priest of mainstream academia that i squared is equal to minus 1. So, um, Malam says this, he says, i squared is equal to minus 1 is okay. But if you try to go the other way, it's not okay. <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me. So mathematics is not about uh, facts and rational thinking and logic. It's about decrees, of, uh, which are really just authoritative orders. So I shall place a link to this comment so that you could read the whole thread and what I'm trying to explain to this idiot. And he just simply doesn't get. I'm John Gabriel. This is a new calculus channel. Until next time, goodbye.